Tamla's Pro Workout is a compact, programmable clock modulation source with eight highly editable outputs that can produce anything from clocks and patterns to LFOs, random voltages and quantized melodic sequences. Building on the previous two PAMs workouts, this new Evolved Pro PAM maintains the intuitive interface and compact form factor but improves and adds many new features along with fully upgraded hardware. Let's get started with the basics, triggering a beat from clocks of varying divisions and multiplications. To make further edits, hold the encoder on an output screen to enter the extended parameters. Here we can make adjustments to both the shape and the timing of an output. Probability randomly skips steps and is great for quickly making rhythms. Let's create a short loop from what we just played. Using loop nap and loop wake, we can specify how many times we'd like a loop to play and not play. Of course, the outputs aren't just for rhythms. Let's modulate the filter and the VCA of our bass voice using output 5. Several new wave shapes have been added for even more flexibility. Using the width control, we can reshape any of the waves. We can view the output CV using the scope. With a faster multiplier set, let's create a Euclidean pattern. The new Euclidean pad setting adds empty steps to the tail of a pattern. As before, we can loop what just played. Now let's move to output 6 and use it to generate a fast random CV. We'll connect this to the pitch input of our bass voice. To kick
keep it a bass voice, we can reduce the level of the CV. Let's select a musical scale to quantize to. Looping the random notes creates a repeating sequence. Using the new flex operations, we can add off-grid timing changes to an output. Starting with the bass envelope, let's add groove by selecting the swing operation. We can now quickly switch to an adjacent output by holding the start button and twisting the encoder. This allows us to quickly adjust the same setting across multiple outputs. Finally, we'll add a chord voice, triggering it from output 7. Using a cross operation, we can influence the output with another to quickly turn this simple clock into its own unique rhythm. Now the bass and chord voices are triggered with alternating rhythms. Let's modulate the pitch of the chord with output 8. To tie the pitch changes in with the rhythm from output 7, we can once more make use of a cross operation. Sample and hold will transform the smooth triangle wave into a stepped voltage, changing the pitch each time the chord is triggered. Let's quantize it to the same scale as our baseline. Altering width will change the notes in the sequence. Let's assign this to an external control via one of the available CV inputs. There are now up to eight assignable CV inputs, with the option of repurposing the clock and rum inputs, as well as connecting an Axon 1 expander. Let's connect a manual voltage offset to CV1. Width is now controlled by a dedicated knob. Returning home to the BPM screen, we can hold the encoder to access the global parameters. Here we can instantly save the entire bank of outputs to be recalled in the future. Finally, if we're feeling the need for a change, we can always select a different theme.
Hamlet's Pro Workout is available now and shipping from your preferred ALM stockist. For more information, please visit busycircuits.com.